Welcome to day 13 of Vlogmas. It is already 1126, so getting a little bit of a late start to starting this vlog today, but it's just gonna be kind of a low-key chill day. I'm making it kind of like an admin day, trying to catch up on an assortment of things I'm behind on, on the computer, in life, and we're just gonna knock some stuff off the to-do list today. Thankfully, my little cheesesteak recipe I filmed a couple of days ago is going live today, so I don't have to worry about a grilling recipe. So that's a little weight off my shoulders today. And yeah, I don't really have a plan for the day. Let's just get going and see what we get into. So I don't think that we're gonna be putting ornaments on the tree this year. Smokey. Look at him, he's almost to the top. This cat. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. Smokey, sir. So I don't really have anything I need to get done outside of the house today. Also, we have some people here working on our yard today. Thanks, Mom. That is, I think, a Christmas gift to me. Fantastic because our flower beds needed some work. Last night, I was out of lettuce for the rabbits, and June was very upset with me about that. So I'm going to run over to Aldi real quick and grab some lettuce. I wanted to go ahead and knock that out of the way this morning so I don't have to worry about it later when the streets get a little bit busier. Just pulled up to Aldi, let's head inside and grab a couple of things. And I got my little bag, let's go. I got me a couple things, let's head on home. I am back from Aldi, let's do a little Aldi haul. So inside of Aldi, it was like a meat locker. It was so freaking cold. My teeth were chattering the entire time I was in there. And so I tried to get in and out of there very quickly, but I still somehow ended up spending money I didn't plan to in there. So the first thing I got right here, spring mix for the bunnies. I love buying these packaged salad mixes from time to time because it's simple. I don't have to wash it. I just take it out and I get three days worth of lettuce out of this for the bunnies. I got some cilantro for the bunnies as well. The next thing I got were these hot cocoa rolls with a marshmallow icing. That just sounded very interesting. I had never seen them before and Cody is a huge hot cocoa fan. So I thought that might be a fun thing to try one day. I got some little mini bagels because I found these. They are like frozen pepper uncured ham and cheddar omelet breakfast bites. So I was hoping that these are going to be big enough to make my little breakfast bagel bites that I've showed y'all before. I got some cotton candy grapes. I love these things. They're so good. I got cheese crisps. These are so good. Fantastic. I love them. They're cheesy. They're crunchy. And... I could probably eat this whole box, so I need to refrain from doing that. And the last thing I picked up was a bag of red bag chicken. I see people talk about this on the internet all the time that the red bag chicken from Aldi is elite. So I picked these up and I figure I'm gonna have to try a chicken sandwich with these chicken fillets. It's supposed to be like comparable to Chick-fil-A maybe? I don't know, but I've seen so many videos about it, I was influenced to buy the red bag chicken. So that is my Aldi haul. And I'm gonna put this all away and figure out what's next. Since the rabbits didn't get greens last night, I'll throw them a little bunch of cilantro that they can have now. June, you gotta come downstairs to get your greens. She looks so cute up in her little bunny apartment. And Rudy wastes no time getting to the cilantro. Look at my adorable monogrammed chicken mug. How cute is that? Today, I'm thinking we'll do a pumpkin spice. These are not my favorite coffee pods, but I don't want to waste them, so I drink them anyways. Obviously, intense. Obviously, max hot. And obviously, the biggest cup of coffee. Oh. 
Smokey! Smokey! Leave him alone! Literally, my entire day is spent yelling at this cat. God, I love him, but God, he is so bad. Anyways, I was just trying to show y'all me making my coffee. Today, we're just doing a little half and half. The huge and this syrup, this one, this Belgian cookie, so good. Tastes like Biscoff cookies, smells like Biscoff cookies, craziness. And it's just a nice little touch to the coffee. While I'm in here, I think I'm going to go ahead and whip me up lunch. I think I'm going to make yet another spicy tuna bowl because I have the other half of the avocado starting to go bad in my fridge. So I might as well just use it up with another spicy tuna bowl, which I love, so I'm not complaining. Since I made it a couple of days ago in a video, I'm not going to show you how to make it again today. But look like two videos back if you want to know how to make it. My spicy tuna bowl is put together. And my golly, if you're going to try a recipe, try this one. It's not even a recipe. It's just dumping a bunch of stuff together, mixing it, and it's just so good. So I made that. I have my little seaweed snacks to put it on. And I'm still working on my coffee. So I don't know if this combination is going to go real well together, uh, spicy tuna and coffee, but... It is what it is. It's hard to see him, but Rudy has no remorse as he's sitting here ripping apart the brand new cage. Look at that. Y'all aren't even going to have a step to climb up the ramp, you dummies. God, they aren't smart. I've got a full belly now and I just sat down at my desk and it's time to do some computer work. I know this isn't fun and I can't really videotape me sitting on the computer for the next hour, but I have some emails and stuff I've got to get on top of. I currently have 768 unread emails and a lot of those are emails that I really need to respond to. I'm feeling incredibly overwhelmed and I am actually in the process of starting to search for someone to help me manage all of this because as much as I want to do everything, I think it's finally time to acknowledge that I can't do everything. I can only do so much as one person. But that is what's going on right now. Time to get to work. Look at Cooper watching the baby chicks in the incubator. What you doing, baby? What you doing? Today, we had a couple of guys out here working all day, cleaning up the flower beds, putting new mulch down, taking down tree limbs. They're hauling a whole uh, trailer full of junk to the dump. It was just boxes and limbs and stuff they pulled out of the yard. And they just pulled out of my house with like a trailer full of crap that is no longer here. And it feels so good. But my flower beds look so much better. Let me show you some before and afters because it looks a lot better. Doesn't that look so much better? Those flower beds were in desperate need of some help and they look so much better now. Hey little roosters, what y'all doing? Y'all are all so pretty. Look at all those pretty boys. What y'all doing, little birdies? What's everyone doing today? I know y'all all hate the cold as much as I do. They're all looking at me like we hate this. It is no fun out here. The bearded ladies are always here to say hello, front and center, all three of them. Well, it is currently uh, 7.20 p.m. And like I mentioned earlier today, today is just kind of a low-key, chill day, trying to get stuff done, not things off the to-do list. And that is what I've been doing, just sitting here, staring at a screen. But I just got off the phone with Cody. He was supposed to get off of work a little while ago, and unfortunately, he's kind of gotten hung up at work, so he's not going to be home for a little while. I was going to wait on him to eat dinner, but at this point, I'm so hungry, I cannot wait anymore. So let's go heat us up some soup for dinner. I think my eyes were bigger than my belly because I heated up enough soup for a small army, I am realizing. I also had a little bit of leftover rice in my fridge, so I mixed that little bit into my soup. 
I have some water that I'm drinking right here that I added a little crystal light packet to it because I wanted something with a little flavor. So I got that and I'm gonna sit here and munch on this soup that looks so tasty. I think it's gonna taste even better today now that it's sat in the fridge for like a day and a half. This bird does not know how to be a chicken. Oh, you found a piece of hay. Come here, come on. <laughs> Is that not the funniest thing you've ever seen? Hey, sweetheart. Just walk, oh, oh, Cooper, that's what you get for sniffing her. All right, onto your little pad to hang out with me. Hello, little thing. <laughs> you just showed the dog what was up, said don't sniff me. Oh my golly. A certain someone accidentally was locked into the laundry room and much to her dismay, I caught her to give her a little bit of forced cuddle time. When I get her and hold her, she purrs and purrs and purrs, but she is scared of me walking near her and I wish we could get her to love us. Look at this sweet little girl. You gotta love us, little lady. Look at all these little babies, y'all. Oh, I bet you're gonna be a rooster with that attitude. Holy moly, after over a week of hatching, I believe the final three have hatched and they're in the incubator. They'll be moved in here tomorrow and then I'll give them a couple of days for everyone to get nice and strong and then they'll go to their new home, which is about like 30 minute drive down the road. So I wanna make sure everyone is strong and healthy before they make that trip. But look at all the little birds, all the little black eyes and the sea of white bodies in this one. I have a feeling he's gonna be a boy just by its attitude. You see, oh yeah, that one's a boy. <laughs> the way it just attacked my finger. All right, y'all, it is about 10.30 now, and I need to go ahead and wrap up today's vlog because I've got to go finish editing it before I can get to bed. I know it was not the most exciting day, but I can't do fun things every day. <laughs> Anyways, I hope that y'all enjoyed Vlogmas today, and I will see y'all again tomorrow. Bye, guys!